It's the sole New York school reachable only by ferry, a short ride from the lower tip of Manhattan to Governor's Island, a 70-hectare former military base where birds and trees greatly outnumber human visitors. The Harbor School is located in a renovated Coast Guard building. Shirts on, shirts on, shirts on, shirts Founder and program director Murray Fisher and principal Nate Dudley greet students at the front door with friendly reminders to put on their school shirts. The school may look traditional, but its curriculum and philosophy are not. Fisher, who previously worked for the environmental group Hudson Riverkeeper, explains. There is an environmental crisis happening right now. And why are our schools not the centerpieces of that battle? Why are they being shuffled from classroom to classroom and taught stuff they think is irrelevant when right now, everywhere, there's degraded ecosystems that need help? Much of what's taught at Harbor School takes place on or in New York Harbor, which Fisher calls the city's greatest resource, albeit a damaged one in need of rescue. This freshman class, for example, is spending a day aboard an educational sailing ship, the spirit of Massachusetts. And as we drag the net across, the fish get caught in the net and they find themselves... Rotating among workstations, the students learn about navigation and take turns steering the ship. They collect samples of the water and test it for oxygen levels and pollutants. They learn sailing basics and help to rig the sails. And they examine some of the animals that live in the harbor. Look at this guy. He's a spider crab. We haven't seen a lot of these this year, so this is pretty exciting to get one. Most Harbor School students are from low-income and immigrant neighborhoods in Brooklyn, where the eight-year-old school was located until moving to Governor's Island in September. Did you know that or you guessed? Yes. Few arrive with much awareness of the waters that surround New York, but they graduate with the skills necessary to make a living from them. In addition to completing a college preparatory program, Principal Nate Dudley says each student earns an industry-approved certificate in one of six maritime vocational areas. Either vessel operations, running the boats, or growing the fish, growing the oysters in terms of aquaculture, or developing uh, engineering skills through the marine robotics program, or marine policy, which is resource management, or scuba. There's a lot of skills that can go along with what we're trying to do, as well as create college-ready students. It's a little frightening. Dudley adds that of the 70 percent who graduate, almost all go on to college. Tatiana Bowen, a junior who's helping raise tilapia and oysters in the school's aquaponics lab, plans to study marine biology. When I first came to the school, I wasn't really that interested in like the water. But once you come here, you start to learn and you start to care for the environment. Like you can see what like all the bad things that's actually happening. And then you start, like, you want to help, like, you're saying to yourself, okay, I want to make a change. So basically, you grow a love for the harbor and, like, nature itself. Founder Murray Fisher says the school's biggest project, helping to reseed New York Harbor with oysters, one billion over the next 20 years, will do much to restore a damaged ecosystem. And he says it offers a new model for a more meaningful high school education, one where students know their work is a real contribution to the world outside the classroom. Carolyn Weaver, VOA News, New York.